how many notebooks do you use and why? What are they for? Do you need all of them? No, 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 no. Coming soon, so kind of. Yes. Yes, but yes. So let's talk about it. And then I have two over there on the side as an honorable mention. We're going to talk about those two. Real quickly, last couple of videos you've seen this, you've seen this. You saw a hint of this. This is my everyday carry. This is this is if I have if I open no other notebook every single day I open this one. It is my like today. What are we doing? It is my monthly. It is my junk collector. <laughs> it it's a it's uh, but look how pretty this edge looks and this edge and the tabs. It's beautiful. This is starting in July to finish this year out and then I'll go back into astrology. Boom. Those guys are done. I'll link this video and this video. Look at that. I have two. Um, this bad boy, totally different. Yes. So we talked about dailies Monday through Friday. This is my work journal. You can see the, um, every month is washi taped. July's Harry Potter. Um, paydays. If there's something going on right now, obviously we're just nothing going on. And then I drew out the months. It's the same thing I did in here. So if you saw this video, this is very similar, but it's Monday through Friday with notes sections, basically. Um, and I did all of 2020, and then this yellow tab is where I I take notes in in um for projects and meetings. It's it's been it's been good. This is a minimalism art. Um, it's the same company as this one. This is their, this isn't their A5. This is their, it's okay. So last year I used a Scribbles B6 and it was the original B6. It's a red color that if you've seen any of those videos, I bitch about it a lot. I'm not a red person. I decided that I really liked this layout. So I wanted five inches, not the A5. Kind of ridiculous. It's kind of the more I think about it, I was so stupid to do that. Like obsess about it. I couldn't find a B6 to save my life except for astrology, and I didn't want 365 pages. So this is what I went with. This notebook was like eight bucks. It's under ten bucks. I know it was, and it's nice. Like because, um, the pen test because it's the same paper that's in this one, and the pen test on it is really it's nice. Not to like, he's nice. It's nice. Okay, this is my work journal. It stays at work, it stays on my desk. The only reason it is currently at home is because I'm working from home. It will go back to the office with me. If I go back to the office, because I've had to go in a couple times for stuff, for stuff, um, I take, it goes in my backpack with me. It only has one bookmark that might be a deal breaker for some people. But it's skinny, and I wish, minimalism art, that, why are those fat? Why did, why shouldn't, the, I like skinny bookmarks. All you know bookmakers, I like skinny bookmarks. Blaytrum doesn't do anything right, but they do the skinny bookmarks right. What did I say that out loud? I'm not a fan of their paper. Okay, work notebook. Done. These three are my everyday, don't need everyday things. Okay, so I was using this for something, so I covered it up with scratchbook. Scratchbook? Scratchbook. Hmm, that might be more appropriate. Sketchbook, scrapbook paper. Wow. Wow. It's late. Um, and then I was so... I talked about this in my previous videos about tracking my books and I'm tracking what I'm currently reading or listening to in there. Um, these are ones I've list, I've read, listened to. I think I've read, listened. I don't remember. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. I will read and listen. Doesn't matter. 
Um, this one hasn't been released yet. That's where I get in trouble. Like this is a series, a family series. Like this is the parents and these are the kids. It's kind of fun. Now the kids are all grown up and when we get their story, I kind of love it. Um, but I want to track that because otherwise I'm not going to go back to it because I'm constantly moving on to somebody else. And, and if it's a good enough story that I followed the family, God, I'm bummed I'm missing out. The other thing I started doing, and this is for, um, I like um, Megan March is an author I like. So I, I was putting in here like, and I was writing the character names because her characters overlap and I wanted to kind of trying to, because I don't always, I think I'll go back and reread her books, re-listen to her books, but because I bought them. She's not a Kindle Unlimited author. That's a rare thing for me. That's how special I think she is. So I kind of want to keep the character flow. I want to write down like who belonged to who and whose sister was what and just to keep it straight in my head because I like to do that. I'm an Outlander fan. That should say it all. So anyway, that's my little, I decided to turn it into a little book notebook, which it's perfect. And honestly, the soft cover little Leutrams, I really do like them. I wish the paper was a little different, but not everybody gets their way. I'm going to skip this one and come back because it's totally different. This one, this is a Mystic Mountain. Mystic Mountain? I think that's the right The I don't even remember the name of the leather. Wow. I think it's Mystic Mountain. From Chic Sparrow, this is their B6 Slim cover. It's just a cover. Guys... It's beautiful. It's really like this was my first Chic Sparrow, and I'm I'm impressed. And I I I know not everybody likes like everybody has their companies, right? Like I got a Foxy here. I I have a Motrum over there. I have my own covers. So like I have a variety of covers. I'm but I've never I've always looked at Chic Sparrow and thought they've looked beautiful and never gotten one and I finally broke down and spent my birthday money to get this and I love it so in here I can't show you much is a this is a I'm really like my brain just Nanami papery uh cafe notes b6 slim but this is the old style I bought this like a year ago this the old style had these weird boxes I know a lot of people were like, eh, whatever, it doesn't bother me. I use them as dates, so yeah. Well, the problem was is I switched to Astrology and never came back to this. And then I was like, well, now they, they make them with just grids and that's what I want. Because I, I take it, I mean, I might plan this at some point. I really like the size, but I don't know. I got a lot going through my head. Anyway, I did. I have a use for this though. I did create tabs. So I just cut on my silhouette. I created the file and then I cut the cardstock and voila, we have tabs. I need to label them. So this is my writing notebook. <clears throat> Something I don't talk about with anybody. So you guys are hearing it before, like even the husband. That's how it is. Um. So this, this first tab is characters. So I flip here and I named a guy Zach and there's a blue thing and then this one is background I think and then this one is couples so kind of developing the story is kind of thing but that okay this, I'm like this always closes no problem that's what I'm using this for right now I opted out for the elastic because I can always put one around if I need it, but I like it without one and it lays flat. It usually has, it's sitting on my desk like this all the time, all the time, which I'm just gonna pile it up over here now. Okay, there's that stack. Now let's move on to this guy. So this is a Arteza watercolor, is it mixed media? I think it's mixed media. I think it's mixed media because the watercolor is, mm. Mm. Um, I basically started playing with this and doing art stuff and I realized like the first page I did, okay, I'm not going to do the back because I'm not, I'm just going to leave, I'm only doing this side. So here's where we, our, our stay home order came in, in Michigan. 
and then I started, and I'll, I mean, some of this is, I, some of this is, um, ink tense pencils, watercolored, blended. I've just been playing around a lot. This is acrylic. Again, just playing with blendings and stuff. Playing with doing some watercolor blending in drawn out things. You know, I, this one's really cool. It's got, I don't know if you can see it. It's got some, I used glitter pens on it. Um, the same thing here, I used a glitter pen. I've kind of gotten obsessed with that. It started with this one. I really like this one. I may end up scanning this and doing something with it. I don't know. But I've been doodling like this bunch of leaves. And then some more watercolors. And then I've got some other stuff going. My goal is to fill this before I go back to work. That's 48 pages? Hold on. I have one that I haven't opened. Oops. I'm over here being all silly. Heavyweight paper, premium sketchbook. That's what they're called. So I'm doing watercolors and they're okay. They do um, pebble a little and they don't, but like this is, that might be me more than anything because this one turned out really great. Depends. So anyway, I have two of them. There's 88 pages. So 88 pages is front and back. So 44. So that's kind of my goal. I want I want to fill it because I, 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 the more you practice, the better you get. So my goal is to be drawing on my iPad and this. So it's kind of weird texture. I kind of like it. So that's on my list. Now my two honorable mentions, this guy, it's been around for a while, is my wide a5 slim moleskin no well, moleskin um carrier i always say that wrong carrier like that size so it's eight and a quarter by five um this journal it's i know this has been shown in a video but i was basically doing art just memory keeping um this is a memory keeping one documented a trip up north 2018 like this one is just um playing around with art and acrylics and um sticking some watercolors in here and that's when I got gouache and was just like this is just crazy and you did, do they do weird things um this one I started in October I never finished Inktober I started in October. I, it's funny because I thought this was crap. And every time I look back at it, I'm like, it's kind of nice. I kind of like it. Maybe I should, I don't know. Weird stuff. And then I, I don't know how many people did this, especially the uh, um, Gen Xers. I'm sorry. I'm going to call us all out. That would write down song lyrics. And um, we had to guess. Google, no. Google didn't give us. A to Z song lyrics didn't exist. Um, and would write down song lyrics to learn songs, like really fast, their favorite artist. So I started doing this, um, 2018 and I've just kept going. So these are like, if it's a song and I'm listening to it and, or I hear it on the radio and it hits me, um, this, I did this on, this is our, this is our wedding song and I did it on our anniversary, um, Florida Georgia Line and Baby Rexa's Let It Be. It'll Let It Be. Is that what it is? Let It Be. That's like, I love that song. So um, this is my mom went through breast cancer. Just, it's funny because this is an old one. I swear by John Michael Montgomery, but I don't know where I heard it. What was happening? I don't. I don't honestly remember, but I'll write it down and be like, okay, I gotta put that one on there. So I've just. This is Tomei River paper. I. I made the insert. I'm not a big fan of making Tomei River paper inserts, but occasionally I do. Occasionally somebody can talk me into it. And I've just been watercoloring so that I have them ready to go. All the songs. Isn't that cool? So this book is always in play, but like honestly, I haven't touched it in months. And I need to, I, I need to. So I think this will come after this one's full. I'll go back into this one and start 
messing around. I think I'm going to create a watercolor insert for it and pull out the ones that are full. But I love the way it looks. This book healed. This, this, this was one of the very first TNs I made. It's four years old. And you can see, I have a picture. Um, I'll see if I can find it and post it of the side by side because this is all um, patinaed because that's the natural leather through there. I love this thing. Okay, last one, last honorable mention. I don't know where to put this. We'll just slide it there. Is my Motrum B6. Um, I, this was this was advertised as gray, but this is like their their brownie color. It's, it's not gray. Um, I have some Miss Moss Deadpool with boobs. Her little rosy girl. I have an avocado from my shop, some credit cards, a feather. In here I have some journaling stickers, which have never made it to my shop. Um, in the back I have a couple things. Okay, we'll hushy tape that. Um, this is a this is the first poem I got out of the book stripped and I didn't know who the author was at first so these this was vellum I cut down to put in here um these are the journal stickers that never made it to the shop some doodles another sticker from shop I need a link um I watercolored a couple pages um this is an old Mandela I drew on my iPad nope didn't draw it on the iPad I scanned it Hand drawn, scanned. Um, this is my migraine tracker for 2020. Um, now, when you do a yearly tracker like this, and I've done this for three years now, <sighs> this year I made a note. Next year, make it just a headache because I need a, I need a just a headache, and it needs to be like a really like gray, like just a uh, blah, but. Like, since purple is my favorite color, obviously, I want this whole thing to be purple. But, like, I had rough. February and the beginning of March was rough. But I've had almost, I'm almost at two months migraine free. We'll see if I make it. Pretty good. But I also take notes on the back page. Um, I got sick that led to me not eating, that led to a migraine, like all that stuff. And these pages are watercolor, but I think this is distress oxide, I think, but I spritzed with water. So I am probably going to do that throughout the rest of the book and then draw and doodle. I honestly don't know. Don't know what I'm doing with it. Don't know. I, part of me was like, I should have cut it down to be six slim and use this. But I do like my tracker in here, so I don't know. I don't have really a good plan with this. The only other planner I'm not using that I was going to use and I set up, I kind of set up, is I bought a heavy planner. I hate discs. I hate rings. I hate discs. The only rings I kind of like are pocket rings, but then I really don't like them. Like, I like them. I have a love hate with them. But discs, why do I keep doing this to myself? Anyway, I'll tell you why I bought this galaxy star theme stuff forget about it forget about it I can't control myself it's terrible <laughs> so I don't love everything about it but I do and I was using this as a shop planner no I'm shaking my head I, I should should have filmed two views here no I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't know if I'm gonna take this and cut it down make try and make it into a useful notebook I don't know I'm not using it. I'm mad. I only paid half price. And I'm still mad. That's my current journal, planner, notebook, memory keeping, art journaling stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. Bye.